acting is the art or profession or activity of those performing in stage plays or motion pictures. And acting as a profession is one that many strive for, but only few succeed. I'm tired of death when I, I couldn't make it. The art of acting is believed to have been started by an ancient Greek man named Thespis. Over the years, this art form has grown from the small stages in Europe to the large stages on Broadway in New York, and then to television sets and movie theaters all over the world. As popular as it may be, it is very difficult to make it as a professional actor or actress. You, you can pursue it 100%, but it's so hard because it's a, it's a career where you're, you're, you're starving. Tiffany Green and Keith Illage are two struggling actors trying to break into the business. Green, from North Philadelphia, is just getting back into the game of auditioning and networking after working wardrobe for 10 years on low-budget sets. Feeling inside, I felt empty. I enjoyed, you know, what I was doing as far as my career, but I knew that it wasn't my ultimate goal. Stayed out of trouble most of the time. I had more passion for fashion, and um, I really didn't want to work. So now, that's why I'm back into it again, because I never actually got rid of that feeling inside. I just know that um, it was still there, even though I was experiencing different careers and, um, you know, meeting different people. And, you know, and I was still in the entertainment industry, but I wasn't in this aspect where I really wanted to be. Illage, a young actor and student at Wilmington University, knows that pursuing acting as a career won't be easy. Yeah, it can sometimes be hectic because when I go through rehearsals, sometimes I may get out late and then I'll have to wake up early at 6 a.m. to come and go to work. Illage works at the Walgreens near his home in Delaware and sometimes has to work odd hours. Like it can range from eight hour shifts to like six hour shifts, but sometimes I'm working day or night and then after that I will have to go to school or come and do one of my shows. Imagine working an eight hour day, a job that you don't like, in order to pursue a career that you love. For some, it works out for the best. The main thing you gotta watch out for is staying clean and looking out for your daughter, your little girl. Brian Anthony Wilson is a professional actor from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He has worked on such films and shows as The Postman, Keeping the Faith, HBO's The Wire, and most recently, Limitless, with Bradley Cooper. You know, there's Denzel and there's, there's B and C and D level people, and I'm, you know, in the MNLOP section or something, but I've, I've had some lucky breaks, you know, been in a few major productions. I love what I do, and I'm blessed to be able to do what I love. Blessed he was. Wilson was working at a plant that makes Vicks vapor rub while pursuing acting, and then, in 1997, he called a break. God, these are the laws that we live by. I put something on tape. Mike Lemon did me a favor and taped uh, these two scenes for me. I taped the scenes and uh, FedExed them out to California. And my agent called like about a day or two later and said they, they liked your scenes. They want to fly you out to um, Arizona to meet Kevin Costner. If he likes you, be prepared to stay. If not, you'll be on the next flight back to Philly. So I flew out there, uh, no sleep, read the script on the way out there. I went to a room and talked to Kevin Costner for like 20 minutes and afterwards he offered me the role even though I had no film experience. Though Wilson is not a movie star, he is a working professional actor. He is an artist being paid for his craft. Today, beginning actors may get work, but it comes with a cost. Most of the jobs that you take at the beginning when you're just trying to build experience are free. Right now I'm in a play called Poplar. That's going to be at the Adrian Theater. And after that I'm going to be in another play called A Lifetime of Pain. Um, that's not till October 9th. But in the middle of that I still have a, a ton of independent projects that I'm working on. That Even these low budget independent film and local theater jobs are not easy to get. An actor has to make time in their schedule just to audition for a part. Most people work at night. I can't work at night because I have children. So. Um, I have to work in the daytime, which is kind of hard because then how do you go on those auditions? So it, it, it's, it's really hard. You just... I can understand that acting and even work in school can put you a lot of stress, not stress, but it can get you, it can put a lot of work into you and you can get very tired and you just have to balance those times out between school work and acting. Time management becomes a hassle for some actors and can take its toll. Recently we just finished doing a show, one of the shows that night for Popular, and um, 
I really didn't get that much rest because before the show, I had to work six o'clock in the morning and then come straight up to Philly and do the performance. And uh, late that night I was driving home and I accidentally fell asleep on the road and I went into a curve and I, I damaged my car and almost hit a gas tank, but I didn't. And luckily I'm here today to continue doing more shows. Lucky to be alive, Illidge remains determined to make it as a professional actor. It is a drive that even a close call with death will not deter. Acting is my life, so I'll always do it. Like Keith Illidge, Brian Anthony Wilson continues to audition and has the same drive as he did when he first began acting because of a fear of not working. It's a little scary because you never know where that next job is coming from, where the next paycheck is coming from. Whether it's working odd hours or sacrificing money and time, there is one thing that these actors have in common. They love what they do. It comes to a point where this is what you want to do and, and nothing's going to deter you and, and that's the kind of determination you need. And uh, you have to have because it's a lot of uh, rejection, it's a lot of doors being slammed in your face, but you, you got to have a tough skin. Anybody out there that's an aspiring actress, singer, design, anything that you want to do, just pursue it. Um, it. This career right here, it does take a long time. You really do have to put the time in to actually benefit from it. But um, if it's something that you love to do, you enjoy it during the struggle. So for everybody out there, whatever your dreams are, whatever your passion is, just go for it. I mean, I always believe that you should do something that you really love doing, enjoy doing. You should go to a job that you really love doing. So if acting is my job, then that's what I want to continue doing. All over the world, there are many struggling actors trying to make it. And maybe one day, Tiffany and Keith will also have their success in a profession where you just don't know. For Temple News, I'm Danny Donnelly. All the money, money and the cars, cars and the clothes, I suppose. I just want to be, I just want to be successful.